Hello and welcome to my Kickstarter campaign. My Kickstarter project is something that's been in development for about a month and a half. Hey guys, as you've probably guessed by the clips I just showed you, my Kickstarter is finally live! I had some hiccups midway through where I thought I wasn't going to be able to publish because I wanted to publish on Wednesday which is kind of my, my horror comic vlog day but then um, they said that I needed to c confirm my identity and my bank account and do all that stuff so it was like, ah, please let me just make it go live because I was just so excited to share it with people especially you guys who have been with me since the beginning of its creation. Also side note, there are boats outside that are honking because there's a little bit of mist on the sea so I apologise for that. I thought in celebration of this we could just do like a mini sketchbook tour of all the horror stuff that I've done up to this point as in all the concept. I know you guys have probably seen a lot of it before but it would probably be nice to see it all in one go and me talk about it maybe. So the Kickstarter is live and it's super scary. I started this idea in June, so the beginning opening sketches, I was like, you know what, I wanna do a horror comic and I just did some story beats where I wrote down the themes of the story, what's gonna be and and certain scenes that I saw in my head, but some of them aren't in the, uh, the final story, so it's kind of okay to read them. There was a house and it's dark and it seems lonely, I was drawn to it. It had stairs down to the basement, though the darkness, it felt like it could go on forever. But steps on the landing edging closer. I've never lived alone. So that was kind of, I was going to have her narrate the story a little bit, um, explaining it, but I think with the final outcome it was more visually told. So here I was just drawing out characters and I was like, ew, what, the, what is this? I had this image of a kitchen in my head for so long, of just her sitting at a kitchen table, as you'll see here. So I just drew out like kitchens and stuff and I started drawing out her character. And that's when I came up with the name Emily is Burning. I don't know where it came from, to be honest. I just liked the sound of it and I was like, okay, yeah, that's good. And I was drawing out different styles of her and then I thought like, oh, she's the character. I like her, I'm doing it. And then obviously she doesn't look like that. She looks very different to that, so it's it's kind of cool. I like this drawing where she's like, I don't think I'm alone. Actually, let me zoom in for you guys. We'll zoom in a little bit more. Emily is burning. This is the fake cover that I made, where where I didn't have a story or anything set out yet, or no, I like I had those ideas, but it's nothing nothing solid. So I just did like a spooky cover. Like I was really into wanting to do some like spooky imagery. So then I started drawing like the house that she may rent because I knew in my head the story was that she rented a new home or she moved into a new home somehow. If you've been watching this from the beginning you know that you know that she originally she was newly divorced and moving into a house by herself but I honestly don't know if that's the story now. It's never mentioned in, in the actual comic but you know it's not said where she's kind of come from. Just more houses and then I had that um, thought of you know what a lighthouse would be kind of cool but it just inspired me to think about a lighthouse as an option for somewhere she could be. I hate this drawing. I was like yes lighthouses and I was experimenting with Copics and pencils but I don't like the actual drawing. I did drew a bike here I don't know why. <laughs> And yeah, and then I started really developing the style and look of the comic and I wanted it to look like that so each panel would be really hand-drawn, rough, too, too coloured. And then I really got into like that style and I think, yeah, I did push this a lot but I think the final outcome of the style is a bit different to that but I think it is kind of this style. Then I was practicing drawing her, and this feels like so long ago. It's so strange to look back on it now as the Kickstarter is launched to be like, I was at this point once and I felt like, I don't know, I felt like I was really excited about the project. I was really enjoying it, but it was hard. I was thinking like, oh, can I do this at the time? And now I'm looking back and I was like, I'm like, yes, you can. 
And then I had like a story idea of what she could say on the phone. You can pause that if you want spoilers, but it's not really worth it. <laughs> and then I was studying somebody else's style here. I was just trying to get to grips with what I wanted the overall look to be and it was hard it was tough but i was enjoying it like that was the funnest part for me because i would be working on that slice of life comic so it was really enjoyable to just let go and do different stuff and not be afraid of how it looked i remember really liking the pink cheeks so that's something that i bought into the final look of the comic different designs of the guy and different uh, in situ situations that she would be in I remember thinking like, I should draw something creepy because um, you're doing a horror comic and what if everything you draw that's creepy turns out to be not creepy? And I did this and I didn't I didn't think it was that creepy but then um, Chris said it was creepy so maybe it is. And you guys said it was a bit creepy so that's cool. This is when I ran away with the tracing paper idea and I did really like that at the time but then it became too much, um, too much work for not, not enough payoff really because some of it was better than others and then I did all the thumbnails I wrote the script out so if this is a massive recap for everyone but I wrote the script out and then I doodled some thumbnails there and then I realized that I have to do all the thumbnails and so each page I did a thumbnail the panels and the flow of what it would look like I took those thumbnails and I created bigger thumbnails that would then turn into the final pages later on I again went back and drew some more styles I think this is kind of the style that I settled on because I really like the way that looked and like the feeling it conveyed so that was the sort of thing I went with and it was really fun so then I did all the thumbnails final rough pages kind of bigger so these are exactly how the comic is but obviously the final pages are drawn a bit better and colored and <laughs> the lines are nicer so that's kind of the style I don't want to show any more because then it will ruin it but then after that, I just started drawing random stuff. Um, this was for my Kickstarter. This is the layout of one of the panels where she sees into the lighthouse for the first time. And this took ages to just figure out the staircase. Even though I was using a reference image for the staircase, it's still hard to translate that onto paper. And I kept getting that wrong. So I had to keep redoing it and rubbing it out and redoing it. But it turned out pretty cool in the end, I think. So it was worth the time. These are some sketches for a video for this squishy video where I did these girls, which you might have seen, you might not have. These are some um, Casey commissioned me to do a drawing for her and I was just figuring out like thumbnails of what to do and I won't show you guys the final one because obviously she needs to see it first. Um, then I did some logo designs with rough concepts for a friend who's doing a, who's doing like a food uh, blog type thing so I was doing suit loads of rough uh, logos for him. This was for another commission, Miguel, who's also a patron. She asked me to draw her hen coop and I was just uh, doing some rough studies and then I made up some chickens for some reason, even though she sent me images. Um, this was it for the typography, which I've now decided that I'm going to do all digitally, but like but hand drawn digitally. And this was the concept for the, the cover, but obviously the final cover is this. I'll show you now on the screen. But yeah, um, after that I just, I was doodling this. I think I was watching By Bun art stream on Twitch. I don't know if you've heard of her. I really like her stuff. It's By Bun. Yeah, so then I was just trying to draw different stuff for a little while to just get a break from the comic because obviously I was working on the final pages away from the sketchbook. So when I came back to my sketchbook, if I was out and about, we went to a summer production for a play and it was outside in the courtyard. So I drew like the corner of the theater because I really liked the way that looked and it only had like a few art supplies so it's not too colorful there's also this amazing tree there and I thought you know what I'm gonna sit here and draw this and as the actors were acting I sort of drew them a lot of them are my friends because I'm in the same theater company with them um, this is my sister actually and yeah that was fun because they were all doing like, different characters so and people had dogs they were sitting outside watching the the plays so i drew that dog but then he he moved <laughs> and i was like no come back it looks really weird now it's just a dog in a play 
This was one of the characters in the play who is a woman who dresses like a man so she can be in plays in like Shakespearean times because obviously you weren't allowed to act if you were a woman. Here's some kickstarter stuff, there's some spoilers on this side so I don't want to show you but here's some banners that I made for the project and here's what I wanted the, the banner for, you know you see the image banner first to look like. Here I wanted to make icons for the projects, the rewards that you could receive for Kickstarter so that was quite fun, I really liked doing that. I did a version of this and then scanned it in and I didn't like it scanned in because the colours seemed to washed out so I redrew it on the computer and then it was fine and then I was just... I was thinking about what to call the reward tiers and I was, I was thinking maybe I should name them after different horror books, like the each tier, but then it just didn't make sense so I didn't do that in the end. This is for the Klimt video that I did, you guys didn't see, I did a rough sketch in my sketchbook first of all and I really like the way that this looks because just the expression of his face is like yes and I don't know, I think it's quite sweet. And that's the last thing because what's in here is for a video that's coming and yeah I still got a way to go to finish the sketchbook but most of it, half of it has been taken up by I would say half of it has been taken up by horror comic stuff, um, which is kind of cool really I don't know what you guys think, but yeah, we're finally here guys near the finishing lines And I really just want to thank you all for your help and support because everybody's been so excited to see this comic come to life And I'm really glad that it helped inspire some of you. I think that's really cool and important at the end of the day. Like even if I print this, I think it's really nice to know that other people are creating stuff because I've created something, like I've sent a positive thing out into the universe. So thanks for stopping by and checking in over these times. But yeah, that's where we're at guys. And thank you for coming along in this journey. Obviously, if you want a copy of the book, just check out the Kickstarter below. Um, no pressure or anything, like you've already done enough. If you can't afford anything, then that's completely cool. Maybe you could share it on your social medias that would be really helpful because maybe somebody else who likes horror or whatever for whatever reasons would like to get it and help me fund the project to get printed versions of this thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe for more content and i will see you next time bye